All right. Example one, points F, G, and H are collinear. If GH equals 16, what is FH? So we got this line here, points F, G, and H are all on that line. Okay, and again, the fact that they're collinear means that they're, they're on this same line here. Uh, G, with my eyes, I can see G is located between F and H. And they tell me this information, that GH equals 16. GH is the distance from point G to point H along the line. Okay, also identified as 2X plus 2. So if GH equals 16, and from here to here is 2x plus 2, I know that 2x plus 2 must equal 16. They didn't tell me to find x, but that's just something, just before I even ask, I see what they're asking me for, I can see, hey, look, I can find x if I want to. All right. If I continue reading, it says, what is fh? So they're asking me to find fh here, and fh is the distance from f all the way to h. Okay, what else would I need to know in order to find out how long FH is? What FG is. What FG is, right? Because we already know GH is 16. So if I can figure out what this amount is, then I can definitely figure out how long FH is. Okay? The only way I can find out how long FG is is to find out how big X is, because once I know X, I can figure out the length of FG, because FG is identified as an algebraic expression instead of a specific number. So, once again, GH equals 16. GH is identified as 2x plus 2, therefore 2x plus 2 equals 16. We're going to chop the 2, subtract, we're going to get 2x equals 14. We're going to divide by 2, we're going to get x equals 7. In any kind of math problem involving variables, once you figure out what a variable equals, that's what it equals for the entire problem. So for the rest of this problem, x equals 7. Looking at fg, fg is going to equal 3 times 7 minus 1 because x equals 7. So FG is going to be 21 minus 1, which equals 20. So just like that, I used this fact to figure out X. I figured out X's value to figure out how long FG was. Once I know FG is 20, my brain tells me that 20 plus 16 equals 36. So I can see that FG plus GH, 20 plus 16, is FH. FH equals 36. As far as the amount of work to be shown on a problem like this, if you have to evaluate, figure out what x is, I'd like to see an equation, I'd like to see if we work it out. Do we need 26? 27 are we? 27. Okay. No, we're finding what x. Oh, you added x to 20, no. Yeah, so yeah, once we know fg is 20, gh is 16, right? So x was found by knowing that, but, x, but that length is not 7. So this length is 16, this length is 20, 20 and 16 make 36. But again, if there's an equation to be solved, I'd like to see how you solve the equation. Go through the steps. If there's something to be evaluated, I'd like to see where you evaluate it. Go through the steps. All right? But if you have two numbers you have to add together, 20 plus 16, do it in your head. That's fine. I don't, I don't need to see fh equals 20 plus 16, fh equals 36. What I've got up on the board is perfectly fine for work.